take a look at this air compressor right here. This is what I want to show today. We're talking about 165 pounds or so in the tank right there. <clears throat> this is what I did to this air compressor. You can't see it's on the back. The air compressor has a, a centrifugal unloader on it, okay? So when you stop the air compressor, the crankshaft here stops turning and it releases a valve and it lets all the air out of the, the lines from the valves of the air compressor. That way when the air compressor starts, it, it doesn't start under a load. It starts lightly loaded. So what I did was I put a, I put a, I managed to get a pipe plug in there, some pipe things, and I blocked it off completely because I wanted to put the acid test to this thing. So I've got the compressor now where when you start the air compressor, it's starting up against 165 pounds. Of pre That's what the pressure is going to. Now, when we did this with the rotary, and I have the, and you'll see the cl film clip on that, I was impressed the rotary would get it started about 50% of the time. There was the other 50% where it, the motor would turn and then the piston would be hitting the compression stroke and it would just it would stall and it wouldn't start. And once it stalls, it's not going to magically start. It's it's stalled for good. But with the what I want you to watch is with the transformer method. Watch this. Watch the, watch the motor and the fan belts and stuff. There is no hesitation. I mean, this is no stalling around. This is no lazy start. This is just it doesn't just barely get a start. This thing practically rips the motor and the fan belt right off the, the unit. It's really <clears throat> amazing to see that. So let's let's we're going to start the uh, air compressor against the load. We're going to do it a couple times just to test everything out here. So. right now and if you notice if you notice that thing when I turn this air compressor off see it's starting to leak out of this um, there's a pressure relief valve there for the two stages see because I because I don't have that actually come out but uh, we can start it up When I turn it, turn it off, you can tell. The, the air doesn't blow out of the thing. Now take a look at that air pressure gauge now. We are at we're at about 185 right now. It's actually raised the pressure to where it's this little something is leaking in this area because of the because there's no there's no pressure re release from anything. So it's starting up against the full absolute load of 185 pounds in there. There was you saw it start and start and start. The, the motor just bam it just goes right there. That's what you get with the power of this transformer method. It, put, it provides the full power. When we did this with the rotary, it's a lazy start, lazy start. I would call the rotor, when you start these motors with the rotary, it's just a lazy start each time.